You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rodriguez for Black and White Sports 2. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, like, comment, share it out. As always, thank you guys and gals for watching on whatever platform you're watching on. And also check us out on Pod. Now, in case you have not seen, there is a WNBA activist. And yeah, I said activist. I mean, at this point, they're more activists than they are basketball players. I said this the other day when I made a, the, the first video about Natasha Cloud. It's bad when your league, your basketball league, is not known for basketball. But it's for ra radical ideology and radical thinking. And it's known for your biggest star having been arrested in Russia for trying to smuggle drugs in. So uh, that's not a good thing for a basketball league. Never mind the fact that the attendance sucks, the rating sucks, and the NBA keeps it alive and keeps it afloat by subsidizing the league. Now that we got all that out of the way, uh, enter in former NBA player, now blackballed. Hey, Colin Kaepernick, this is what actual blackballing looks like. Yeah, this is a legitimate case of blackballing. Enos Cantor Freedom... Of course, Enos Cantor, look, the last year, a couple of years ago when he played, he averaged a double-double and then all of a sudden couldn't find a job. Yeah, that makes sense to no one. But we know why. He came out very outspoken uh, about China, called out LeBron James, and all these human rights issues that are going on uh, around the world and the NBA is NBA and shoe companies are, are in bed with these entities, right? So he called them out. And he directly couldn't get a job anymore. So, now, in case you're not paying attention, he's from Turkey. I don't even think he can go back to Turkey now. Um, and he is calling out Natasha Cloud, who called America trash. And he actually decided to bring in Brittany Griner into the equation. And he's not wrong. He's not wrong, because he's basically told Natasha Cloud... Why don't you ask Brittany Griner what being oppressed is really about? And we know what he's talking about. Also, Enos Cantor wore a t-shirt yesterday that was absolutely fantastic. And we will take a look at that as well. WNBA star who called America, quote, trash, offered a free ticket to China, Russia, North Korea by Enos Cantor. WNBA star Natasha Cloud has an open invitation to leave the country. Uh, she got mad because people told her to leave the country. It's funny how all these people that dog out America, when you offer to uh, send them somewhere else, boy, they sure don't want to want to go, do they? They don't seem to want to leave. That's weird. That's weird. It's funny how the most hated country is the one nobody wants to get out of. Last week, Cloud went viral when she blasted the U.S. after the Supreme Court rejected using race as a factor for college admissions. Quote, our country is trash in so many ways, and instead of using our resources to make it better, we continue to oppress marginalized groups that we have targeted since the beginning of times. Black and brown communities and LGBT plus, Q plus, man, we are too powerful to still be getting attacked on issues separately. Uh, this is something that John talks about a lot. Of course, John is a black guy, and he's like, you know, the black community ain't really down with their LGBTQ plus community loving ass. They're, I mean, they're just not really down with it, right? And it's something that he said they keep getting drug in. He doesn't understand it. He was like, you know, who's not okay with that? Black and brown people, that lifestyle. Uh, and... and it's something that he said, I don't understand why we keep getting drug into it, truly. After receiving criticism, she doubled down. Also, I need y'all to come up with something better than move to Russia or China. Y'all shit played out and tired. Your shit is full of poor-ass grammar. You can't speak right. And um, why should anybody come up with something new? When you talk shit about the country, hell yeah, people are going to tell you to get the hell out of it, and they're going to point out countries where you're going to find out very quickly when you say something, they lock you up 
and or you might just disappear. I, I, I'm just being honest. Try that shit in North Korea. See how it works out for you. Also, let me say this for all the folks on my timeline, and, and she got destroyed. If I don't give a F was a person, it's me. Y'all fitting to make me money because of how much real estate I'm holding in y'all's head, y'all's minds. Uh, no, well, you might make some money, but so am I, sister. So congratulations. And also for my religion weaponizers, y'all people that killed Jesus. God, this person's ignorant. She's ignorant, and I'm trying to read her quotes, and it's making me more ignorant. I'm going to continue to speak the truth about this country because until you're truthful about your flaws and weaknesses, nothing changes. Well, enter in <laughs> Ina's Cantor Freedom. Whoa, he did cook her ass. Former NBA star Enos Cantor, who recently changed his name to Enos Freedom, after becoming an American citizen, offered to buy Cloud a ticket to China, Russia, or North Korea if she hated the United States so much. Let's just check it out because this was beautiful. Here we go. Just ask your colleague, Brittany Griner, how, quote, trash America is. Calling America trash, huh? Let me know when your season's over. I'll buy your ticket, and we can go together to countries like China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, Venezuela, Cuba, and Turkey. Forget about calling them trash. I would like to see if you can even criticize those regimes. You and your family members would be thrown in jail, tortured to death, and raped. He's, I mean, he pulled no punches here, folks. People have no idea how lucky and blessed they are in a country like America. I'm not saying America is perfect, but trust me, you don't want to see the other side. So, Enos did not hold back on Natasha Cloud. And look, he's right. I mean, tortured, the R word, disappeared, cut off limbs. She wouldn't be run. She you she, she couldn't even run her dumbass mouth in some of these countries. I mean, it wouldn't even be optional. She would face literal consequences from the ones running the country. Talking all this crap, all this ignorance about our country. It's utterly absurd. These people are so damn stupid. It's mind-boggling. I mean, they're saying all this, and you can tell they know nothing about the perspectives of people that have been in these other truly oppressive countries. But you're a victim here playing basketball for a living. Now, right. Whatever. Let's get to this. Enos Cantor Freedom wears a shirt that says, My pronouns... Our USA, that's right. He was on a roll, of course, social media. Got big mad over this. Enos Cantor Freedom shared a triggering social media post for the 4th of July that mocked the modern obsession with pronouns. Wishing people, quote, a happy 4th of July. The former Celtic star shared a photo of himself wearing a shirt that said, quote, my pronouns are USA. That's a great shirt, by the way. Yep, there it is, right there. Awesome shirt. People, of course, oh my God, did not like the message. I can't believe this idiot played for my team twice, said one Twitter user. I wish I could say what I wish upon you without getting my account suspended. I mean, really? Really? I mean, we're y'all are supposed to be so accepting, right? Question mark. Hmm. Unless somebody else has a difference of opinion, then you're triggered as hell. The whole NBA should thank the Rockets for getting rid of this cancer. The Rockets didn't get rid of him. China did. Let's be real. The basketball star, who routinely criticized the NBA's relationship with communist China, as well as its Wuhan virus policies shared the photo after he denounced 
WNBA star Natasha Cloud after she called America trash just days before the patriotic holiday. And it goes on to talk about the exact story that we just talked about. I think that is fantastic. Enos Cantor Freedom, and look, I I need to break down and just reach out to him, see if he'll come on the big channel uh, and talk to us because uh, I feel like he would probably have a conversation. Hell, I need to find out if he follows football and he can come over there and we can pick games and then... Yeah, and talk about politics if we if we need to or want to. Um, but uh, he seems like he'd be a fascinating listen. Let's put it that way. Uh, anytime he's on, I want to hear what he's got to say. He has seen the under, other side of it. He knows what it's like to have the thumb of a regime truly on you. You know, he knows what's going on with the... the, the uh, the, the the Uyghurs over in China and what's going on with the human rights violations over there. And he's been the one, the only one in a coward NBA and WNBA to actually call this crap out. So, and it's cost him his career. It's a damn shame. And Adam Silver is sorry as hell. Tell me what you think, Black and White Sports 2 supporters. Peace them out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.